Hey everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. Well, as you can tell, it's raining. It's supposed to rain today and tomorrow, so that means inside projects. Now, I always have inside chores to do as far as laundry and making the beds and doing that kind of stuff. Cooking and, you know, uh, making sure that when the kids get home from work, they, they have something good to eat. That kind of stuff. But I've got other projects too. Got the eggs washed and ready to go in the fridge, and and uh, you know the animals have to be looked after. But then I got a lot of projects that require attention inside. And these are the perfect kind of days to get projects done that we put off when the sun's shining because we have so much to do out here. So I've got strawberries in the freezer. I actually just took them out and put them. Uh, in the kitchen so that I can work with those today. We're going to do, do uh, strawberries for our project for today and and uh, or at least the one I'm going to bring to you today. Uh, I have several other projects. I've got onions that need to be done. I told you I was going to put them in the crock pot and let those cook down and then dehydrate them and make like a caramelized uh, minced onion or in some uh, onion powder and uh, who knows what else I'll do but today I'm going to take in I'm going to show you my steam juicer uh, I have a Victoria steam juicer and I'll show you all the parts to it I'm sure you as uh, some of you probably have seen that but I've got people on here that um, that ha are just new to canning and so I'll show you my steam juicer um, I'll explain to you how I used to, to make my jellies and how I used to extract juice out of all the fruit to use them for different projects and I uh, as long as I've got my steam juicer, I don't plan on going back to the other way because this is so easy um, to let that juice go through that steam juicer and you don't have to worry about scorching and you don't have to worry about all that kind of stuff. So anyway, we're going to go inside and I'm going to uh, uh, get those strawberries started. We're going to make our juice today and then when we got to get the juice done, We'll have some other projects to do with the juice. Now, I don't know if I can get that all on one video. It just depends on how long it takes to extract the juice. And because uh, I, I want to make strawberry jelly and strawberry syrup. And then my other strawberries, I have some projects I'm going to do with them on the dehydrator. The, uh, I'm going to be using some of my strawberries today. And then strawberries that my sister-in-law, Shannon, gifted me with. And, uh, my, and I'm thankful for that because... This year, with all this rain that we've had, <laughs> this is week five. Last week, we didn't have a solid week of rain. We had some days of sunshine. I think we had three or four days, probably probably four days of sunshine last week, so it wasn't a complete rain week. But, uh, and this is, day, this is week five. Monday and Tuesday, for sure, today and tomorrow, are going to be really rainy. And then the, uh, Wednesday, kind of, excuse me, just a small chance. And then the rest of the week is supposed to be sunny, but hot and humid. So, anyway, we've got lots to do, and I hope you guys enjoy watching this process with these strawberries. It's going to be delicious when it's done, and uh, let, I hope, uh, I'm hoping that you guys can hear over the rain. I've tried different times to come out here, and it gets louder, or it starts to lightning. We've had thunder in the distance. If, it, if it's lightning, I am on my porch, covered porch, and so... Uh, I feel, you know, it's relatively safe unless it starts to lightning and then I go in. So anyway, uh, let's get started on that project. Okay guys, here is the setup that I have. This is a Victorio steam juicer and I got this from the company uh, Victorio. I'll show you what the box looks like. This is, so I can move it off the stove because I have the fire going. This is... Um, this is the product that I got. I ordered it from Victorio. However, I believe it's under another name now. And I'll get that information for you and give it to you in the show notes down below. And um, I don't, I, I'll check to make sure it, that it's on Amazon or, or where to get it. I believe at one time you could get it on Amazon as well. This is uh, my favorite way to, to juice. Let me explain the juicer setup to you and then I'll get started with those strawberries. Hold on just a second. Let me move this out of the way. <laughs> okay. So the first thing you're going to see on here is the bottom pot. And uh, 
I'm going to move out of the way so I can do a close up on these things because you guys know what I look like and you need you want to know what this what this looks like. I'm going to show each of the pieces of this Victorio steam juicer to you individually and of course you can tell that the this one on the stove that you're looking at is already steamed. I I had the uh, the flame on and was getting ready to put it all together and put the strawberries in it when the telephone rang and so I had to turn everything off and now I can't remember where I was at on, on the video so I'm starting over with this process so anyway this bottom part here is the um, the stock pot others it, you can use it for a roaster but I don't I only use this for a steam juicer I have other pans that I can use but just know that this is a multi-use and you can use this as a stock pot or a roasting pot <clears throat> after you get that set and you get your water in it um, then you have the next part that goes on and you don't want to fill this pot this pot here all the way up here with water because your next pot's going to set down in there and you don't want the water running up into it and diluting your juice that you're getting from your from the fruit so the next piece is called uh, hold on just a second I dropped a piece off of here this is called the juice kettle and you can see it looks uh, kind of like a bunk pan in some ways if you think about this part of it right here and it, this part sets on the bottom and you can tell I've had it setting on there because I was getting I got part way through the video so I'd already put it together and was getting ready to put the strawberries in it when the phone rang so this is the juice kettle and it sets right on top of there when in the process uh, when the juice is released from the fruit it comes down into this kettle and um, when it gets up higher than where this hose is at then you can start siphoning off the juice with this tube and this clamp and so when you squeeze it the juice is going to come out of here into whatever pot or pitcher that I use a pitcher because it's just easier for me to hold on to to, um, to extract the juice out of this pot and it has these little holders so you just clamp it onto the side of the pot the next piece is the colander now I would possibly use uh, this particular part of the juicer because it's a big colander and so if I had a big uh, big project that I was wanting to use a colander for I would probably use this but for the most part this just is used for steam juicing then that particular piece sets on there and there's a glass lid that I'll show you in a minute and I'll get the fire start turned on and we will start steam juicing our strawberries okay guys this is um, five pounds of frozen strawberries I have more but that's all that I can get in the pan right now but as soon as uh, these cook down I can put more in and I'll continue the process until I get all of my juice I'll come back when I've got um, have some that's coming out of this tube that I can show you what the process looks like now, all I do now is simply just put the, the glass lid on and let it go I've got the fire uh, up to medium I don't want it to boil really really strong and boil the water out of the bottom you do have to be careful with that and make sure that if you need to add more water but you <clears throat> but you uh, you don't have to just babysit it constantly that's what I like about it and you don't have to worry about scorching your um, scorching the berries because all that's in contact with the fire is water so when I've got something to show you uh, some of the juice that's extracted and that I can take it out with this uh, through this tubing I'll, I'll bring it bring you back and and uh, we'll get something made that tastes good okay guys I'm I've che just checked it and I have uh, some strawberry juice that's ready to come out so I'm going to show you this process and then I'll continue to cook the strawberries down I'm
I'm gonna uh, all you do is just squeeze this clamp and that juice is gonna come out now be careful because it's hot really hot so you want to make sure that you keep your hands away from the tubing and keep your hands back from uh, the liquid that's going into whatever container is I use this because it's tall and I can keep the juice from getting to me splashing me and uh, I got quite a good uh, quite a bit coming out of here that's good and it smells fantastic So you can see, it's that's all I've got for now, and I'll keep cooking that down. And it's about, sorry, <laughs> you can tell I got about about half a gallon, and so I'll keep cooking it down. Well, you can see I got about half a gallon, and I'm going to continue to cook these strawberries and get some more juice out of them and add some more uh, strawberries in. I've got, well, I have quite a bit more that needs to be juiced, and then I'm going to be putting some on the dehydrator after a while. And uh, all of this will turn into strawberry jelly and strawberry syrup for pancakes or whatever you want to use it for. Well, I'm back, and this the process of steaming these strawberries is done. I've set the top colander that the fruit goes in off to the side so that I could show you the inside of the um, the kettle where the juice gathers. I wanted to show you uh, what the what would happen um, what what does happen and what could happen if you're tempted to take the lid off of your berries or your apples whatever it is you're steaming and press it to um, to get more juice you'll get a lot of sediment that will actually go through the colander holes in the bottom of the colander and you won't have a clear pretty juice and um, so I'm going to show you inside this jar or this can I'm sorry and you can see here that that is about all that's left in the bottom of this of this pot and you can tell that there's not much sediment in it at all and um, so I've got a really clear nice juice I'm pleased with that and then I'll show you over here that I got almost a gallon and a half of pure juice no no dilution it's concentrated strawberry juice that'll be able to be used to make jelly, to make syrup, whatever I find to make with it. And uh, that excites me um, that I've got that to be able to put jelly and, and syrup on the shelf and to share with others. Now, a few things about this juicer. I told you earlier that uh, you don't have to babysit it. Well, you don't have to babysit and set on top, set you know right at the stove with it but you do need to stay in the general vicinity doing other things you know maybe it's time to straighten your pantry or something like that but you want to make sure that you don't let this bottom run dry of water now I've read tips from others that say they put marbles in here and when they begin to hear the marbles they can tell that they need to add more water you don't want to run this dry because this bottom pan will warp if it runs dry so you have to keep an eye on your water and make sure that you, you don't um, don't allow it to to run dry and to ruin your pan and you always want to make sure when you take the top off of the um, the colander the glass my, mine has a glass lid others have solid lids but turn it away from you like you do your canning pots when you remove the lid turn it away from you so that you don't get a steam burn Here's a look at the strawberry pulp after all of the juice has been ext extracted from it. And you can see that all the pretty color is gone. 
Um, there, there is a little bit of juice left in this, but do not be tempted, unless you don't care about it, <laughs> if it doesn't bother you to have sediment in your juice. But if you like a clear juice to make a pretty jelly and a pretty syrup, don't be tempted to take a spoon or a spatula or, or anything else and mush these berries down to get the extra juice. There are all kinds of recipes that you can use your pulp for. You can make fruit leather, you can make um, um, with apples, you can make applesauce. With these strawberries, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do yet. I'm still thinking about it. And they're really hot right now, so I'm, I'm going to let them cool for a while. I may just feed them to my chickens, but I may do something else with them. And I, uh, if I come up with an idea, I'll share with you later what I've decided to do, and I'll show you that process. But it is right now, I'm just going to let these cool. There's the process of using that steam juicer to juice some of my frozen strawberries. And I have blackberries and um, peaches cranberries all in the freezer waiting for me to get to them and I'm going to be able to use this steam juicer and make and make fast work of it. If you have uh, always done your juices to, for your jellies the old-fashioned way which was cooking them down and putting them into a jelly bag and letting that uh, juice drip then you know that this is a time saver in about 20-30 minutes you've got juice that's ready to go. Now you can cook it down in here. You can cook it down uh, and once it gets cooked down you could add more to the top of it and just continue to uh, work through it, process it, but make sure you do not, do not, do not, do not be tempted to press that down with the spoon or anything else. Stir it around because you're going to get sediment and you won't have a really pretty clear uh, juice. And this is what um, I've poured this up just so you can see it um, out of those pitchers because they're opaque. But this is the juice, and it's really clear and pretty. By clear, I mean there's no sediment in it. I know that you can't see through it. But it's a beautiful juice. There's nothing in it other than juice. There's nothing floating in it. There's no sediment at all. And this will make delicious jelly, delicious syrup, ice cream topping, whatever, whatever it is. When I say ice cream topping, I mean syrupy, because this doesn't have any chunks in it. So anyway, if you don't have a steam juicer, give it a, give it a try. Uh, get one. I don't think that you would say that you wanted to go back to the old way of doing things. They're available on Amazon <clears throat> for varying prices. And I have a stainless steel. I know that you can get them in aluminum, but I try to get stainless steel uh, simply because I think that... Um, it's healthier and I, I just feel like it's uh, sturdier. It may not be, but to me I feel like it's a sturdier product. So they're available on Amazon and uh, I hope you give it a try and I will hope that you enjoy the process of, of putting up your fresh fruits or getting fruits from the orchards and the farmers market and taking advantage of them while they've got them at good prices throughout the season. Here we just went through strawberry season and um, next will be, uh, let's see, what are we in, the 1st of June? Well, we'll begin to have blueberries and um, blackberries. And this summer we'll have peaches. There's porter peaches close by here. And they have wonderful peaches. I don't know how their peach harvest will be this year. My peaches are still just a little bitty. But um, anyway, porter peaches have wonderful peaches and we can take advantage and... Um, juice those peaches if you want uh, peach juice or peach nectar. Also with the peaches um, you can uh, make a make a so, sorry about that you can make juice concentrate you can actually can these juices you don't have to make, use them right now you can can them I would use my steam canner and can them and you can make concentrates for uh, for like strawberry, strawberry lemonade you could make um, apple juice, grape juice, any of your fruits that you're going to use. Also, you can use this steam juicer for 
uh, for chicken. Now I have never steamed chicken in here and got the broth off of it. I don't. I do, I have another process that I do. But according to the manual, you can use this to um, cook your your meat. I've read other reviews that people say they do fish and seafood, and we're not real big on that stuff. So I have. I can't speak to that. But uh, I hope that, that this has been informative. I hope that you'll give it a try and uh, see what you can come up with in your kitchen. For now, this is Josie. I love you. And until next time, we're gone.